By the way, anyone know what happened to Luke? Luke's not even in the game anymore. <laughs> like, Luke disappeared from the game, I just realized. Hang on! Excuse me, Pispella. Pispella, are you okay? Y yes, everything's fine. My apologies for bringing back such troubling memories. Nevertheless, you must endeavor to face them and overcome the power they hold over you. Yes, I remember it now. The fire dragon. I summoned it because I'm Bazella. No, Espella, it was just an illusion. No, you're wrong, Dad. It wasn't an illusion, it was a fact. If I hadn't rung the bell, none of this would have happened. Bazella is the bringer of disaster, and that's what I've done to our town. Ah! The accused runs away! Quick, after her! She's under the bell tower! Darn it, she locked herself in! It's no use, we have to break down the door to get in. Oh, that girl, she's done it. She's gone and to visit of the shoulder brush revealed herself. Stay away from me. Oh lord, what the hell is this? Espella! Espella, be careful, it's dangerous up there. Please, Espella, come down. I'm sorry, everyone. I have no right to be here anymore. Nick, Espella's going to do something crazy. I can see that, but what the heck do I do? Espella, please, do not take any hasty decisions. Mr. Layton. The truth is so close now. Be brave for a little while longer. The truth? As if it wasn't clear already. If I hadn't rung that bell, everything would have been fine. Objection. You may be mistaken. You still don't know the whole story. Huh? Isn't that so, Mr. Wright? I had the same feeling when I was listening to Eve's testimony. I felt something was not right. Really? I thought that was pretty much it. The pieces of the puzzle that don't get fit are themselves the hints to the solution. No way! You mean, Espella didn't ring the bell? What nonsense! Of course she did! As it stands, it's hard to say for sure that she didn't ring the bell. However, we got evidence that will clear any doubts. Show us the so-called evidence you claim to have, then. What do you think proves the spell that didn't ring the bell? I don't know. Whoa. The robe? The vigilante's report? Oh, you needed two pendants to ring the bell. That's right. Take that. It didn't work? It's wrong? Oh my god, I did the wrong thing. It should have been the pendant. It's bullshit. That's bullshit. Well, that's bullshit. That should have been the one thing and it's not. Complete bullshit. It's gotta be the device then. It can't be the report or the invisible robe. Right? It's gotta be this. I have no idea why. I have absolutely no idea why. Take that! The real reasoning should be you needed both pendants, so they both rang the bell together. But no, and plus, remember Eve said she could solve puzzles, so Eve solved the puzzle to ring the bell. But no, the game says. Bullshit and does something stupid that makes no logical sense. So here we go. Espella, can you hear me? Yes. Where you're standing now is the same spot for where you saw the fire dragon. Uh, yes, that's right. This fretwork here is the same as what I saw that day. When I look at it now, it seems so small, even adorable. Defense, what does this have to do with anything? As you will no doubt recall, Mr. Cantabella told us that people who drink the groundwater here suffer from a condition, a condition where they fall unconscious the moment they hear the sound of pure silver. Huh! After the bell sounded, he recovered consciousness sooner than Espella. <clears throat> he ran to her side and shook her away.
As soon as she opened her eyes, she saw the fire dragon. In other words, if it was a spell who rang the bell, that would mean the device for ringing the bell must be very close to the fretwork of the dragon. Spella, can you please check that for me? See if the contraption is located near the dragon fire fretwork. Um, okay, give me a minute. Mr. Wright! Spella, you, did you find it? I don't know if it's the right thing, but there's something on the other side of the belfry. A contraption with a handle. What? On the other side? That's right. I figured there was something weird when we went up to the bell tower. But I couldn't quite put my finger on it. No, no way. You see where I'm going with this, don't you, Miss Bell Duke? If it was a spell who rang the bell, there's no way she would have been seeing the fire dragon when she woke up. Ah, no, no, this can't be right. An excellent deduction, Mr. Wright. Miss Darklaw, it seems that everything is now clear as day. What, what do you mean? Why, of course. I mean the answer to the question of who rang the bell. It was her. It had to be. What do you say, Mr. Wright? Looks like we arrived at the same conclusion. We now know that only one person could have done it. Wait, what good will saying it out loud do? Is there a problem, Mr. Cantabella? It wasn't your daughter who rang that bell. Should not that lift some burden off your shoulders? Are you not curious to know the name of the true culprit who has pinned the blame on your daughter all this while? Ugh! How about you stop taunting us? Just say the name already! Who is this true culprit? Let's do it, Professor. Are you ready? Like, we don't know. Who else could it have been? Duh. I am always ready, Mr. Wright. It is time to set things straight. The person who rang the bell is... The Cat! <laughs> it was obviously Eve, but I might as well use another hit coin. It wasn't the cat? Oh, come on. All right. Have a look. It's you, Eve Belduke. <clears throat> no shit. <clears throat> Me? But you were the only two of you in the belfry at the time. You know that better than anyone. And it wasn't Ispella who rang the bell. It had to be you. That's preposterous! It can't be true! It was an extremely traumatizing event for both you and Ispella. Your friend's memories were altered from the shock without her even realizing it. She believed she was a witch who rang the bell and summoned a dragon which incinerated the town. However, Miss Belduke, Ispella wasn't the one of only one whose memories were warped by the horrors you two witnessed. You were affected as well. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Ispella, she rang the bell. We did it on the counter. It wasn't me. And then in the Ispella bathroom. Me? Wasn't me. But why? What are these flashbacks? I've never... I've never had these before. Why did any of this matter, by the way? It didn't. It didn't matter at all. Alright, now we get to see what really happened for the first time. Here we go. We are having a stupid celebration of fire that's incredibly dangerous and we have no means to extinguish the fire. This is a good idea. <laughs> So easy, matter? even a child could do it. To do this now. We'll be taken over by Bizella. Oh my god. Bizella is just a fairy tale. And you're the one who said you wanted to come and ring the bell. I did, but I changed my mind. Hey? After coming all this way? Oh. Hmm? And then she fell off the tower. <laughs> well, we're just gonna have to burn Eve at the stake. She's the one who killed them all. I would. 
Burn them all. Bur burn that bitch. So they use the souls of the hundreds of dead to perform a human transmutation! Oh wait, that's another show. You did it. You done goofed. That nightmare was too much for two young girls to take in. 